oscillators and filters and now I'm just going to look at uh, the other envelopes and we've got our amp envelope and it works pretty much the same way as the filter envelope we've got our three different curves so you've got control there over the um, sort of type of decay and then we've got our envelope 3 which can be assigned to a whole range of um, different targets um, you've got all your different volume pitch pan for each of the individual oscillators or you can um, assign uh, to all the oscillators at the same time so if we go pitch all turn our amount up So this could be really handy for sort of adding an attack to a bass sound. So I'll just uh, get it quite low there. So we've got a nice bass sound. We want to just add that extra bit of attack. And you can just... So pretty handy for that. And as I say, you can assign it to a whole range of uh, different options. You can have it controlling the GM rate or LFOs or a bunch of stuff. So pretty handy. And then lastly, uh, we have the GM. And the GM is um, basically a way to modulate, um, again, the same sources. You can use filters, volumes, pitch, LFO rate. Um, uh, but you can sort of draw in your own curves. So say we wanted to um, modulate our filter. So I'll put it on filter 1, 2, which is basically controlling this knob. And if we just put a simple curve in. Um, you can hear it going up and down. And we have loop on, so if loop is on, it'll just keep going round. If loop is off, it'll just go up to the top and sort of stay up there. And then we have retrig. So with retrig, it turns loop mode on and just is basically randomly cycling through this um, curve that we've got. But it won't retrigger on key press. So I'll show you something that you can do with the GM that's really cool. Um, I'll just go back to a default preset. And I'll select a sine wave and I'll, I'll show you how you can make a, a really nice kick. So to make a nice kick you want sort of um, pitch modulation. So that's a sort of... Um, start and what we want to do is fine tune this curve so we right click to create nodes and if you right click on the nodes again they disappear and then we can just draw on a really tight curve to get a nice click and we want to take a loop off for making a kick and then we can adjust our amount. We want a bit more amount so we can turn our pitch up. And we can play with our rate as well. So there you can see you can create kicks really quickly. And we can use our amp M just to sort of create a curve for a kick.
and then you can hear what the different um different sort of delay curve settings or, or decay curve settings are going to sound like so the one to the right's really clicky because it's sort of starting really high so you have a lot of control over these different types of sounds Um, so that's pretty much it for the GM. I'll show you one more thing actually just sort of for like wobble bases and stuff that you can do that's pretty cool. So I'll go back to the default preset. And um, we'll pick our data os. This is really good for sort of dubstep -y type sounds. Um, we'll add a sort of sub to it. And then we'll use our filter. We use a two pulse saturated. Um, so one thing we can do is just simply put a couple of curves in and assign it to the filter. So let's look at that. And you can sort of put crazy curves in so you can have like a couple of big wobbles and then a long bit. So you can play with that and get some nice sort of funky wobbles. Or what you can do is um, create a wobble with your LFO. So we're selecting our filter again. And then we can use the GM to modulate the LFO rate. So we can assign LFO rate. So what it's doing there is um, it's increasing that rate control and we can create sort of steps. So what it's doing there is modulating the the rate function on the LFO. You can play about there and you can create some really interesting results um, using the GM. It's also good for sort of sweeps. So, okay, I'll create another default patch and I will go for jumbo. So, we can assign this just to pitch. Um, so, we'll go for pitch all. Take our lip off. We 
get out a saw in there as well. And then we could do stuff like add a bit of modulation in, or a bit of LFO as well. And then we can actually um, add a second function to the GM. So we can go into our mod source, select the GM, and we'll actually control the LFO rate. So grab rate, take it off sync. So the basically the the GM um, curve is going to be assigned to pitch, but it's also going to be assigned to our rate control on our LFO. So you can hear there you can create lots of modulation possibilities to create a whole bunch of sounds with the GM. Um, in the next video we'll take a look at our chord hold feature and what it can do.